boys and girls. I'm Auntie Nayasha and I'm here to help you with your learning and to give you some ideas. Do you like having people visiting where you live? Maybe it's your cousin or your uncle, maybe granny or papa's friend. What does everybody need to get into your place? Whether they come by bus, taxi, car or bike, they all need to wear something on their feet. Yes, they need to wear shoes. Kwame was at home when people started to come to his house for dinner. Well, more like a party really. It was exciting hearing a knock on the large door and hearing it creak open, followed by the sounds of laughter plus big hugs and kisses. When you come in someone's home, you should take off your shoes. That's what Papa always told Kwame. So Kwame knew that when friends and family came to visit, he had to look after their shoes. He would line the shoes up neatly in the hallway and made sure that they did not trip anyone over. Do you know how many shoes each person wears? Hmm. Look at your feet. Most people have two feet. Do you have two feet? You probably have something on your feet to walk, hop or run around. Kwame would put the shoes or sandals that people wore to his house in a line on the ground. He would then count them in twos. He was quicker that way. One day, Kwame counted three pairs of shoes. Two, four, six. If each person has two shoes, a pair, how many people are in the house? We can use a number sentence to help us work out the answer. We are adding three groups of two shoes together, like this. Two, add two, add two, equals six. Another way to write this is to use a multiplication symbol like this. We could then write three groups of two shoes as three times two equals six. Kwame knows that he has the shoes of three people. The next day, Kwame found that there were even more shoes to count. A pair of trainers, a pair of sandals, a pair of boots, and a pair of leather shoes. How many people are in the house? Let's help Kwame. He could write four groups of two as two, add two, add two, add two equals eight or write four groups of two as two times four equals eight. Both ways will give Kwame the same answer, but which way do you like the best? Have a go at home with shoes in your home. Ask an adult to help you count in twos and write a number sentence with either plus or multiply. Have fun and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.